Hi guys, welcome back to RS Car Culture. So in the past, you probably have seen that we've been using pet root blowers in our farms. On top of that, we also use some pedal wheels. So in this video, I'll be showing you what are the newer aeration systems in our farm. So stay tuned. So this was actually one of the first few blowers that we bought early in 2021. You can see that this after a few years we actually performed some maintenance which includes belt change, pulley change and even topping out of the oil after every month. So we decided for the new farm we will also proceed with using the same kind of root blower system however with a bigger capacity. So this is the newer root blower that we have is actually a 20 horsepower unit. So you can see we have one main one backup that is always running to ensure that you have aerations into the prawn. So it consists of a motor drive unit driven by a belt and pulley system that converts to a root blower. So you can see that this has actually been running for at least two to three months and we are fairly happy with the production of uh, aeration into the tanks. So it's pretty cool. And it has also come with a pressure relief valve in case the pressures are over pressuring. Uh, it has also a gauge so it enables us to monitor the pressure. Uh, in the lines and also not to ensure that we do not have overcurrent in the power. So these are actually 8 inch uh, aeration lines so you can see that it made of consists of metal and uh, PVC pipes. We decided to use 8 inch because it saves a lot of power in terms of over pressuring and we then reduced down lower into the separate branch which is a 2 inch line before going into the different tanks. So we actually have a main 8 inch line which is branched out to 3 to 4 two inches line that you see over here and you can tap out any aeration line which goes into our aeration frame covered in the past few videos uh, that is inserted into the tanks so with this uh, 20 horsepower unit we can actually power the whole new uh, farm and even the older one so you can see that one tank can probably house up to five to ten units so they're actually quite strong in aeration and these air diffuser tubes they are more uh, coarse in nature so that they are a bit stronger uh, in terms of uh, fouling capabilities so as you can see uh, this is one of our tanks which have both uh, pedal wheel and uh, aeration frames from the root blower so you can see that it's actually quite good in terms of the aeration capacity most of our dissolved oxygen saturation in the tanks are about 90 plus percent and we can even supply some of it to the farms in the past which is the first farm on the left over here so we're actually fairly uh, happy and you can see that most of it still can work in our smaller tanks so these are the previous tanks that we had back in 2020 and they are still in good shape and we can bring up some aeration over here and here we have actually supplemented it with some paddle wheel um, so we can see the shrimps are, are fairly good uh, they're fairly big ready to be harvested uh, soon so we thank you again and we hope you guys to see you guys again back in RSF culture